Hello eye tracking community. My name is Michael and in this video we will talk about heat maps and scan paths. In the previous video we have talked about eye tracking metrics such as gazes, saccades and fixations and now we will have a look at a real example of how we can visualize these kind of data. In this visualization you can see a heat map. A heat map visualizes all the fixations which have been recorded in one visualization. So here we can see the Sudoku game, which I've shown you in the previous episodes, and we can see the distribution of the attention of player number one. We can also visualize the other players as well, the other participants. Here we have nine participants in the experiment, so we can see nicely the attention distribution of these nine um, participants in the experiment. We can aggregate these nine participants to one heat map showing the overall distribution of attention of the nine players. This example shows one variant of a heat map, which means transparent color, so no color means where no fixations have been performed by the participants. Green color means there have been a few fixations, yellow means a medium number of fixations and red means there have been a lot of fixations at this position on the stimulus. There are other variations of heat maps also possible. For example, we can visualize the same data with a transparent blue-red combination. Then it looks like this. Or we can visualize it with a blue-green-yellow-red combination. Then it looks like that. There's another heat map which is called a tension map. And a tension map only shows the region on the stimulus where there was a real, also there, where there was attention performed on the stimulus and all the rest is not shown. What you have to know if you visualize um, data with heat maps is that between the data and the final result in the visualization there's an algorithm mapping the data to colors. And in this case, in case of a heat map visualization, it's a Gaussian distribution algorithm. And you can change, of course, the parameters of this Gaussian distribution. I prepared two different heat maps here with the same parameters at the moment. And now we will show or we will, we will change the parameters of the second heat map. So, for example, I changed the, the kernel size um, to 100. And... Um, the standard deviation to 10. It still shows the same data, but the visualization looks differently. So that's something which you really have to know when you're working with heat maps. They really look nice. They show a nice yeah, uh, rendering of the data. However, you have to be aware that you can change the parameters and the same data can look differently. The second visualization is called scan path. And we will start with the heat map again. On the left side, you can see the distribution of the attention in a heat map of participant P1. And on the right side, you can see now how the attention moved over the stimulus. The heat map only visualizes the aggregated distribution of the attention, so with no time inf temporal information. The scan path shows this temporal aspect as well. So here there has been the first fixation of the participant and then the attention moved here to the bottom right, so indicated by number two and so on. And when you remember the last episode where we talked about eye tracking metrics, here you can see a fixation, this is a saccade and here you can see a fixation again. There's not so much to talk about the, the scan path. Um, the only thing is perhaps that if you try to visualize, in this case, all the participants, you get this uh, distribution of bubbles on your screen and then it may become difficult uh, to understand what's going on here. And then you might go stepwise through um, the single participants and try to understand the different uh, scan paths in detail. But how to analyze this scan path, this will be part of a next episode in detail. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumb up. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.